Hi guys, hope everybody is doing really well. Um, I've been down the local auction, uh, well, not that local actually, um, and I bought four lots. Um, three of them are here, and I've got one more interesting lot to show you. Um, some interesting items, plus I picked up um, something on eBay and something off a company uh, called Tool Teak Online. So, um, without further ado, um, there wasn't a whole lot at the auction, but I thought I did quite well picked up some interesting items. So the first lot consisted of three items, which I actually won on the day. Um, and this was this sort of pad saw handle, sort of steel. Um, wasn't really interested in that, to be honest. It's interesting slightly. I don't know, that's like a marking knife, but it seems a little strange to me. I'm not quite sure how it works, but it's anyway, it is what it is, a bit of fun. So that came with it. My next favorite, which I do like, is this uh, nice marking knife. Um, looks like it's darker timber, more like ebony timber on this side. And then on this side looks a little bit lighter, um, but very nice brass. It's got a set screw either side to tighten it. And obviously you can use it for marking, um, but I just like that. I just love the, the sort of look to it. Very heavy, heavy duty, nice thing. But the reason I went for the lot was for this, um, the hand vise with this beautiful turned uh, turned handle and um, looks like it's two timbers um, and I think whoever's turned that must have done that maybe as a bit of a fun project maybe that person was turning furniture legs I don't know um, but really really nice so I really like that I think that's got a real a lot of style to it a very ordinary nothing magical about the actual um, hand vise itself but I really like that. So I thought it was a really good lot. So I was really happy to buy those. I think that's possibly my favorite lot. Um, the next lot I bought was this set of Tremel points. Quite nice, uh, nice knurling on, on, on the head. Quite nice, and they're quite big as well. Quite a big old size. Um, I do have a few Tremel points in a drawer, uh, not many. And um, this one is massive, comparable to those. I mean, usually they're sort of smaller things, um, but this one may be used more heavy duty, but still got a nice patina, a nice look to it. So I was quite happy with that. Um, so that was a bit of fun. And they were only 25 pounds, I think, minus the commission. I don't think that was bad. Um, and then the next item, which is really a lovely thing, if I'll show, um, is this um, hard and fat, hardest and, and sharpest. Um, and this is the car, Carborundrum company now they this is an american company but they had an office in trafford park manchester which is very very close to me just maybe at you know three miles four miles from my house so it'll be interesting to fight do some research but this is a beautiful um statue really really nice detailed and i like um you know american indian sort of thing and it also came with a book really really cool now apparently this is from the 1920s this uh, mascot i found one online actually i'll try it i'll try and show you so it says it's from the 1920s and obviously they made lots of products i don't think this this book this book is from the 20s uh, lots of sharpening and um, filing all sorts of interesting products flattening so really really nice and it also came with this box and it's the carborundum company made manchester but it's and obviously it's got the stone still inside it one of their products i am going to keep a lookout for a better condition box because it would be nice to have a nicer condition one but i love tool advertising and i think that's a gem i think that's a really nice gem it's uh, made from pottery i thought it might have been bronze which would have been even nicer and um, but yeah really really interesting thing so you'll have to tell me what you think in the comments about that um, and then the last thing i bought was from a company called tool teak um, actually i want to show you something i was looking through um, these books i bought some books which is going to be the next thing i show you um, and you can see the Carborundum company uh, showing you their products. So um, I'm going to show you these books. This was the last lot at the auction. So some interesting items, tool the items. There's another the Carborundum uh, company, but it's definitely a US company for sure. 
but they've obviously made things in the UK. Right, so the last thing I bought was from a company called Tooltik, um, and this is a Matheson's Glasgow adjustable spanner. Now, I do have one other Matheson's Glasgow. You can, I don't know if you can read it there, Matheson's Glasgow. And this is a much earlier from the 1870s. Got this off my good friend John. Uh, a cylinder coach wrench. Very early, beautiful thing. Um, but now I have another one, um, Matheson's Glasgow coach wrench. It was owned by somebody who liked to stamp the name. Um, and it's um, it's quite an early one. I probably date it from the at least the 1880s. Um, and not bad. Now, very plain, common design. It's just nice that it's marked Matheson's. Um, that's what was really cool. So that was a great um, addition to the collection. So yeah, so I was pretty pleased, really pleased with this this thing. I think whoever's carved this is a very talented person indeed. Lovely, lovely thing. So yeah, um, I'll show you the two books I picked up. Um, we'll have a quick look through those and then we're done. Um, all right, I'll see you in a sec. Oh, I also, because I'm an idiot, I forgot to mention, I bought another Lister um, sheep shearers or mechanics toolkit uh, screwdriver. I have a few of these, but this one's quite a nice one patina wise, as I'm a patina boy. So I picked up this one. I don't know how much it was. I think it was about £12 with the shipping. I think that was quite a good price. So I was quite pleased with that. Um, now, here's the actual uh, first book I bought. Um, it's got some really interesting wrenches in it. This one here, my buddy Nash Rathbone has got one of these. It's a footprint pipe wrench. Uh, very, very interesting because it has the bent head on it for the actual pipe wrench. Looks like they made it in three sizes, 12, 15 and 21 inches. I think Nash has a 12 inch version. Um, I've not seen one of those yet. Um, you do see this type, which is quite a common design actually. Um, you do see this type quite a lot. Um, which I believe is this type here and um, with the screw and um, these are really common with a flat draw but you don't see them with the oval jaw then this is really nice and um, really really nice this is a set of three King Dick um, spanners in a leather case and I would love to find one of those leather cases I think they're fabulous but I've never seen one so I don't know how many they actually sold um, but really cool. Lots of other pipe wrenches in the book. Obviously, it's not just a spanner book. It has all sorts. This is a um, engineer's ratchet brace, which I did recently pick one of these up, actually. Um, it was probably in my last uh, video. Still not put it away. Engineer's ratchet brace, heavy duty. So I'm guessing this here is a very, very similar model. And obviously this, you can put pressure on the actual drill bit itself. And it can show you how to drill through an I-beam with one of these. I wouldn't want to be working with that all day. I really, really wouldn't. But yeah, still very interesting. Um, what else we found? What else we can find? Some interesting drill braces. Um, these clamp onto the actual desk. I saw one of these at, at actually at the auction. Sent a picture to my uh, buddy, um, Alex. But there's lots of versions of those and um, there's lots of that's why i find these books fascinating to see some of the things you've never ever seen before anvils uh, drills chucks choppers very very cool interesting what else we got lots of tools I, th I don't think this is there's chisels but also there's lots of hand tools and it also has lots of information about what sizes were made how they were made very well, look at that that's interesting isn't it look at that fascinating tool chest with all the tools you can buy look at that fantastic stool as well really cool look at that one that's really nice so some wonderful products and a lot of these i wonder if they are still in existence but fascinating that's a stanley um shooting board they're quite sought after those now number 52 is it yep yeah. Um, we've got tremble points. Here's some of the tremble points shown in the picture book. That's a Stanley and Co one. Um, and you can see very, very similar sort of designs. Uh, this one is more similar actually with the shape of the more similar. But yeah, so lots and lots of uh, tremble points. What else we got? Um, axe heads. 
and it goes on and on and on really really fascinating books and they were only 25 or 30 pounds for these two books um i think that's really good value interesting read of oh, it's hard to show everything these have got some um spoke shaves i've got some spoke shaves somewhere in a drawer um all different types of spoke shaves they got um all different cutting measurements here we've got Preston. I think I've got some Preston ones um, with a fancier handle, which is, is it one of those? I think it could be that one. A T, a T and it's, how much is it? Nickel plated or iron, uh, five and six each. Hmm, interesting. So um, lots and lots of tools, Stanley ones. I'm sure I've got some of those somewhere in a drawer. Yeah, is that a Stanley one there? This one here, is that that one? Uh, a T384A. Looks very similar to that one, doesn't it, with the screw? Um, a double iron spoke shave with uh, two, uh, two and five eight, two and some eight cutter. Um, book gauge got one of those so lots of interesting tools you can see the prices some of them were sold for a long time i did actually hmm, is that stanley rafter square i bought one of these actually the other day i wonder if it's the same rafter square i figured it was more newer it's a number seven seven twenty four what does that say Rafter Square, has it got a date? I don't know. But I think it's a very similar similar thing with inches on the inside, millimeters on the outside. Mm, I thought it was more uh, later than that. Yeah, so uh, lots and lots of things. I won't bore you forever. I'm sure most of you have switched off. Look at that plane, that's a, that's a nice looking Preston plane. Full nose plane. So yeah, so it goes on and on and on. Um, this is the machine tool book. I did get another one, which I have showed you actually a few seconds ago. Um, this one's a bit smaller, doesn't seem, to, and it seems to be a bit more more recent as well. It has a lot more this type of machine. I guess this one might be from the 650s, 60s. I think that one might be from the maybe the 30s or something. Miniature lathes, watchmakers lathes. I think I might have a couple of those different ones. Fascinating drill bits, drill. So these books are a real, real, um, what do you call it? A real interesting treasure trove of tools. So that one is the Machine and Woodworkers catalog, um, 659. This one is 670. So this must be earlier because it's a smaller number. But yeah, and they were established in, um, 1843 so it'd be nice to get one from 1843 so yeah hopefully you enjoyed this video thanks for watching if you got this far take care have a great day bye bye